Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. First, because I'm back at home. I don't get to move in until this Friday. So, but yeah, so today's video is going to be all about the things that I wish I had known before I got to FIT. So this is a video that I have been wanting to do for a very long time. I wanted to do it now because I got into FIT about a year ago. So I didn't get into FIT for the fall semester, I got into FIT for the spring semester. If you want a video like that's all about like how to get into FIT, how to get into FIT if you get waitlisted, which I did. So if you want a video all about that and like how I did it and whatever, let me know. I'll do it. But yeah, so this video is just going to be about the things that I wish I knew before attending FIT. So this is after you get accepted. Okay? So I have it here <laughs> so I don't forget so the first thing oh if I look down it's because I'm obviously reading what I wrote down but yeah so the first thing will be to attend all of the days of your orientation and I'm gonna tell you why first of all you're gonna miss out on so much information me I did not follow this thing like uh, the first semester that I was at FIT I, uh, I was commuting so I was like mm, do I really want to go for like three whole days to like FIT whatever I was like no so I thought it might be wise to only go to one day the day that I thought that it was the most important which was the second day for me but I was so wrong I missed so much information that I had to like catch up on like on my own throughout the whole semester so um yeah do not miss your orientation so number two will be that you gotta toughen up I know this is going to sound a little bit weird to some of you, but the fashion industry, it's such a competitive industry. And from day one that you get to FIT, you're going to notice that. You're going to notice that everyone is super competitive. Like a lot of people there are not really into like making friends. Like the people that are already there like studying, um, there's a lot of like older people and like a lot of people that already have like degrees and they're they're just coming back to just like study fashion and stuff like that so everyone is just there to get their job done and they want to get a good job out of it and people are going to be mean <laughs> like girls are going to be bitches there's like no like help in like classes there's no teamwork or whatever like it's just you on your own trying to get your work done and professors are going to be like brutally honest with you like uh, I mean, at first, there was this one professor that told me that I had to, like, toughen up. I was like, you were telling me that? But, like, later on, I realized that I really had to, like, toughen up. So, I used to take things way too personal. And in this industry, you cannot take things personal because you're not going to make it. Especially in this school. Like, if you take all of the criticism and, like, everything that the professors are telling you in a bad way, you're going to be miserable literally miserable number three will be that making friends is actually gonna be a little bit harder than you think so like i said before fit has a lot of commuters like a lot of commuters um and older people so chances are that like a lot of those people are gonna be in your classes and the commuters are just there to go to school and like get out of school so, I mean, if you're a commuter that's trying to make friends, that's great, that's wonderful. But, all the other commuters are not really there to make friends, you know? Like, mm. So, yeah. Um, I will say the best way to make friends will be to join clubs, but I'm going to touch on that in just a second. So. so, okay. Number four will be to not rush things. I cannot stress this one. Like, I think this one is like the most important one out of all of them that I wish I knew. So when I got to FIT, everyone was talking about like jobs and internships and like volunteering for like fashion week or whatever. And I was like, oh my God, like I'm so behind. Like I need to catch up. And that killed me my first semester because I was like trying to adjust to a whole new school from transferring from like a state school here in New Jersey to like a fashion school in the city that I knew like nothing about. So, instead of, like, taking my time to, like, get to know the school and, like, 
everything that it has to offer for me. I just try to like rush into getting a job and getting like internships and like I didn't get any internships my first semester and I was so disappointed. But then later on I realized that like you kind of need to network for a little bit. You kind of need to work retail for a little bit. You kind of need to like get some experience that you might not want to have but like that you need to work in this industry. Like as a first year, first semester, for you to get an internship, like a good one, like a paid one, it's unrealistic. Don't rush things. I was like, I will highly, highly, highly suggest for you to get like a little job store that you like, um, like somewhere that you're not gonna be miserable. Get some experience, network with them, and then just like move on from that. You know. So after you move on from that let your second semester be like you know all about like internships and all of this but like do not rush things it's not gonna be good for your mental health and plus no one's gonna hire you if you don't have like any experience so you know on to number five we have that clubs are the best thing ever which they are i have found that uh joining clubs at fit is like the best way to try to make friends just because you know that everyone that's in that club like like something that you also like which made them want to join that club so yeah like and you guys are like it's a smaller group forced to be like you know together you're gonna be seeing those people like constantly and like they're not gonna be worrying about like schoolwork and stuff like that while they're in the meetings so they're socialized i'm part of runway 27 which has ugh, i love my club love it love it love it love it um I was the hair and makeup coordinator for the fashion show last year that we had and I love that position and this year I might run for something else but yeah I love that club I have a lot of friends in that club that I adore it's also a great way to network and to get experience from the real world because you're gonna be with older people that are going to have experiences already and they're gonna tell you like how things are gonna be and then also like I know for my club we get opportunities to work at other shows besides fashion week which is really good and then also like the internship that i just had um the previous semester i got it from my club it was a paid internship that like everyone they found out that i got it everyone was like oh my god you're so lucky and i'm like i am lucky because that internship like you know so yeah i had a great internship and i'm so thankful that i was able to find it through runway 27 so thanks guys so number six is gonna be don't think you know it all i know in a fashion school you're coming in like oh i probably know so much fashion blah, blah, blah. but like chances are that you really know nothing if you have that like know it all mentality like people are just gonna hate you like professors are gonna hate you and like it's just not gonna be good because you're gonna realize that you don't know anything that you, you might know some stuff, but like literally like there's some stuff that like there's no way that you could know unless you go to fashion school. You know, don't try to be a small ass in class. Don't try to like, you know, just because you're taking your Gucci purse to class, don't think that you're like, you're like this fashion expert because you're not. All right. So, so number seven is to not feel pressure to look your best every single day that you attend school. Mm. People might think, oh, like a fashion school, like you need to look like 100% like all the time. And like people do dress nice. Let me tell you, like people do dress nice. There's people that wear heat every day. But you have to learn that these are people that are doing it because they want to do it, because they like to do it. If you're the type that like you want to be in sweats and a hoodie, it's fine. Like you do it. No one's gonna judge you. Like don't feel like that someone's not gonna like. Don't feel like someone's gonna judge you just because you're not dressing like you're not dressing up. Just like do you? You know, like wear whatever you want. Like if you want to wear a t-shirt and jeans, which is what I do most of the times, then do that. You know, like just be you. Find your style and just wear that. You know. Number eight. You need to be nice to everyone. Um, like. I feel like people don't really stress that enough. They think that they could just say like, walk all over people. And like honestly, you never know who you're talking to. Especially like at FIT, like you never know who you're talking to. So if it's the professors or the students or even the staff from the school, like uh, 
be nice to them. Like, if you're gonna get annoyed by accents at FIT, girl, everyone has an accent at FIT, so don't think you could be rude to someone just because they have an accent, because mm, that's not gonna work. But yeah, if you're nice, people are gonna wanna help you out. If you're nice, we're gonna want to work with you, so be nice. Number nine is that college parties are not a thing at FIT, which I know it kind of sucks because there's people that want like a whole college experience, but like FIT is not really a place for that. Um, like I said, people are just coming here to get, get their stuff done and that's about it. Um, plus the dorms are like strict, so like you're never gonna really see like anyone like throwing a party in their dorm. Maybe like a little get together, but like not like an actual party. So, and there's not like any fraternities or like sororities or any of that. So, yeah, if you want like to go out and like have fun, go clubbing, then that's what I would Ten, number ten, which is the final one, is that don't underestimate the school just because it's a fashion school. Okay? And I cannot stress that enough. Um, people think that like FAT is gonna be a very easy school just because it's fashion. If you're coming from a school that like you did like no AP classes, no like college credits classes, you're gonna be like playing catch up with your credits. Just because FIT has for more credits than usual school, then a lot of people are used to taking only five classes and FIT needs to take at least six to be like on track with the thing. So it's gonna be a lot of work. Um, I'm taking seven classes this semester just because I wanna get my associates on time. So it's things like that, like that, you know. So don't underestimate like the classes. Classes, I honestly could say really depend on who your professor is and your major. I personally know nothing about design because that's not my major. I'm an FBM major and my first semester, it was, I, w I was miserable because I didn't really get to like choose like the professors that I wanted. So, uh, I had like the worst professors and I struggled so much. So, yeah, my second semester went a lot better because I had better professors, but it's like, it's still a lot of work. Like, we're still, th like, I'm still taking like classes that my friends are like studying just like regular business or like finance or even science are taking. I'm like, mm. so I'm taking like those same classes. So, don't think that you're gonna come to FIT and it's gonna be like a breeze because I personally think that's not. I don't think that's gonna be that easy for you to just like ace through everything at FIT. But yeah. Uh, and then also, bonus thing, <laughs> don't do it unless you love it. I feel like at FIT, you're gonna be giving up a lot of things. Like social life, you're gonna be giving up like the whole like, college experience, you're gonna be giving up a lot of your freedom because the industry does swallow you in and like you're gonna be sucked in and you're not gonna have like any time for anything else. So, so honestly like if you're really like not sure about like whether this is something that you want to do or not then I'll highly suggest for you to just like stay back another semester at a regular school and then transfer like when you're really sure that you want it not only are you going to be happier like knowing that you made the best decision but also you're not going to be taking up a spot that someone else really wants so that's that but yeah so that is that guys i hope this video was helpful for some of you guys i know it would have been really helpful for me before i got to fit so yeah if you want more of this type of videos let me know in the comments down below so make sure you subscribe for more videos and also like this video and I will see you next time. Bye! So, um, uh, do Why I lost? Vlogs. <laughs>